In this first video about functions in Ecotect, I'll take you to some simple navigation and look at some of the visual functionality for setting up and viewing your model, navigating inside the application, how to set up camera views, how to use the zone management and simple tools like SunPath and Shadows with inside Ecotect Analysis. I have now opened the conceptual environment with inside Ecotect and I want to show how you navigate, do a bit of modeling and look at some of the different functionality for visualizing your design in here. So the first thing I'll do is go to my project tab and load in a .va weather file. Then I'll go to my 2D editor and I can go to file and I can import GBXML or 2D CAD geometry or I can simply model with inside Ecotect which is actually quite effective. I can go here to the zone tool and I can click my start point and make notice up here the status bar where you can also control your measurement. Go to F5 and then just model a very simple zone. Say escape, give the zone a logical name and say F8 and we're back in the 2D editor. If you go to selection information here, this is where we can get information about the objects and about the zone and the individual nodes in the model. So if we click objects here and just click somewhere in the application window. We can now see that when we click an element we can shift between the nearest elements by hitting the space tab and we can double click to edit note mode or we can simply hit F3 to go into note mode. So if you want to display this directional arrow you go here to file user preferences options and you say display directional arrow for selected objects, okay? And you can now see that this arrow should, or it should always point from the inside to the outside, which is very important. If you want to flip it, it's just hitting Control R to f flip the surface normal. This is very important because you could take this going from the sense that the temperature within inside a room will always tend to align with the outside temperature. So there's multiple ways that we can manipulate the zone and we can also look at it in the visualize tab and if you go down here to your view toolbars you can say just fit to grid and that will help you if you kind of get lost in here you can always just click down here. If we then go to down here to the eye to the visualization settings we can apply some fuzzy sketch or technical. We can also just hit the slider here to look at the sketchiness of our model. We can apply different kind of surface display, zone color, material color, and uh, again, the outlines on the geometry. We are also able to make it transparent. When I look into the zone, we can make a cutoff as well to look into the zone on different axes. So quite helpful when we get started and it's very effective to use. We can look at the contrast on our shadows and control a lot of different things in here. So if we go to the sun settings here, you'll see that this is really uh, a lot of time for where we'll get started. So we can add on our daily and annual sun path. And from the weather file, the hottest and coldest month will be displayed, will, will be displayed from the inside the model. And we can then just hit here to scroll for a specific time or we can hit the globus to go to different sun extremes or window or whatever. We are also able to hit solar rays or to make a butterfly diagram with some very nice uh, colors and stuff like that. And with inside here, the zone management, this is where we can control multiple designs, proposals and zone, we can group them and really make notice that if we turn off the zone, it will still be a part of the overshadowing calculation, but not part of the visual studies of shadows. If we turn it on and we freeze it, it won't be a part of any calculation at all. If it's a thermal zone, it will be a part of the thermal calculation. If it's not freezed, if it's not a thermal zone, it will only generate shadows or overshadowing for the thermal analysis. If we go to zone management here, we can of course go in and edit the internal design conditions, operation, occupancy, thermal properties to set up the system that we're working on. And please notice that this is just some very simple heat pumps, just exchanging the amount of over or underheated periods with energy based on the COP factor here and go please and check the information box here to make sure that the total area 
and floor area and volume has been calculated if it's a femosome. And also the intrasomal adjacencies, that is really where we are calculating the conditions and relations between different zones and geometry within the model. Thank you.